Hello and welcome. Uh, today we celebrate uh, the feast of uh, the gift that is uh, Holy Communion. And so our readings uh, and prayers uh, reflect this a wonderful gift of uh, God. The Lord of glory be with you and the Lord bless you. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of God's love revealed in word and in sacrament, uh, let's uh, call to mind those times when we've fallen a little short of the mark, but safe in the knowledge that Jesus paid for all these and so much more on his cross on that Good Friday. Like as the heart longs for flowing streams, so longs my soul for you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O send out your light and your truth, that they may lead us to Christ. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. May we come to this your altar, O God, God of our salvation. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God who forgives and pardons all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Forgive and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And our collect for this feast day. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let's hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. And then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood remain in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as together we pray. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. 
we believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's bring those uh, things that are big in our hearts and minds this day for our Lord's attention and his help. Lord God, here we celebrate how Christ gave us his body to be our spiritual food. Listen as we pray for his body, the church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here we recognise the presence of Christ who takes away the sin of the world. Listen as we pray for this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And here, where we come together, just as Christ gathered with his friends to give us this meal of holy fellowship, listen as we pray for all whom you have given us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And here, where we remember the night of Christ's agony and trial, listen as we pray for all who are suffering at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And here, where we join our praises with the whole company of heaven, Listen as we pray for all who have trusted in Christ's promise to raise us all up on the last day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Just have a few moments for our own private thoughts, prayers and intentions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ in one spirit. We're all baptised into that one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. God, you are our sustainer. We ask you to receive the gifts we bring you and feed us continually with that bread which satisfies all hunger, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up our hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks because, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And on the night before he suffered, sitting at table with his disciples, he instituted these holy mysteries, that we, redeemed by his death and restored to life by his resurrection, might be partakers of his divine nature. And so we join with the angels to celebrate and sing, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. On the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took the bread, thanked you, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. 
Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit, that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Pour your Spirit on us, that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Now made uh, one by the power of the Holy Spirit, as Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. But though we are many, we are one body, because you all share in the one bread body of Christ, broken for us. The blood of Christ, shed for us. So let us pray. All praise to you, our God and Father, for you have fed us with the bread of heaven and quenched our thirst from the true vine. Hear our prayer that being grafted in Christ, we may grow together in unity and feast with him in his kingdom. And this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. And together we pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And may the Father who fed his children with manna in the wilderness strengthen you in your pilgrimage to the promised land. Amen. May the Son who gave his flesh for food and his blood for drink keep you in eternal life and raise you up on the last day. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit who leads us into all truth help you to discern the Lord's body and empower you to proclaim his death until he comes. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, we will.